सवदूत पिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देवराधाकृष्ण पाद सगणिता श्री विशाकांता नमा ओं विष्णुपादा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चातिणे नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाने गौरदे नम हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेशा गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाछाकलपतरोभ्य कृपा सिंधु अतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखम करोति वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यत्कृपा तम वंदे श्री गुरु दीनतारिण परमानंदमाधव श्री चैतन्य ईश्वर Hare Krishna so welcome everyone for the first time we are having this janmashtami pujari training what to do the venues have increased so many no? seven venues <laughs> that's huge so to keep the standard same in all the seven venues you now we are doing this uh, training so here we are going to cover everything that is needed for janmashtami and you are free to ask any questions any doubts and if i'm not able to answer i'll get back to you in the group no i'll send the audio message or text message so let's begin and uh, whatever uh, we know little bit from uh, the shastra and whatever little training we have got we'll try to share so these are the seven venues and then uh, in all the seven venues we have radha krishna big deities will be there koti pa abhi baith le chair leke idhar so big deities will be there but utsav vigrahas we have radha krishna at uh, three places at iskon bhakti center panatur in is uh, in acs layout and in uh, plh and all the other places we have gornitai am i correct ha huh? oh it's not confirmed okay oh is it okay In my room, a white color this dabba is there in which my medicines are there. You can get, you know. Ahi ke ki. So these will be the utsav vigrahas. So let's start with the stage setup, the altar setup, and how the altar setup should be. So the big deities will be at the top, and then followed by that, now we'll have the utsav vigrahas. So on the same platform, we shall have utsav vigraha also, and then second level we'll have panchatattva and narsimha dev photo. and then third level we have guru parampara on the side we'll have tulsi maharani and prabhupad altar this is something which i would like to confirm once again with harikshit prabhu and tell you all so maybe we can have a nice singhasan and then i have a big photo but uh, give me a day's time i'll confirm on this prabhupad's altar but the first four points are very clear so big radha krishna deities 2 feet 3 feet whatever deities you know we have and then we have the utsav vigrahas and then on the second level you have panchatma narsimha dev now see it all depends on the vendor you know who is going to provide so say only one table is there hmm. so radha krishna then utsav vigra and on the side we can have panchatma and uh, narsimha dev but we should have another level where we need to put or keep our uh, guru parampara so that we cannot keep on the same platform so for that we can use our tables maybe a tipoy or something from our homes hmm. now next is for julan yatra ha huh. Tulsi Maharani should we be placing on the same first level, or should we? We can we can use a stool, na? Separate, independent. Ha, like here in ACS level you can take this, 
So like that in other venues also, we can have some stand like this and keep, instead of keeping it on the same level. Of the it can be different, then it can be a different uh, setup. So level up down, it doesn't matter at that time. Mm. Stool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we'll have much option, you know. They'll just give one table. So, Utsa Vigraha, big deities and Panchatva Narsimhade will try to keep on the same table. If we get steps, that is best. So, if it is steps, then we know how to keep it. So, like that we can keep. So, if Gaurnitai, then in the second step, with Narsimhade and Panchatva, you can have Gaurnitai. Uh, that we will discuss now. Mm. It will come in the next PPT. So, we used to have like Jagannath, So, that it's up to you all now. So, this is the main altar in between what we are going to have. Now, depending on the venues, like in Panatur, we are going to have three altars. One we Jagannath Bhalde Subhadra, one Gornitai, and in between Radha Krishna. In uh, ACS layout, we have three altars Gornitai, Radha Krishna, and Prabhupada. So, I am just talking about the main altar. The other two, you all can see what you want to. So, at that, in the other two altar, you need not keep Guru Parampara and other things. Not needed. Okay, let's go to the next one. So, Jagannath Bhagavad Gita should be placed in the Tulsi Deva as well? No, not needed. So, in the main central altar, keep everything. Other two altars, you maintain. Just keep the deities. Yeah, main, correct. So, Julan Yatra, so we will not be keeping any deities in Julan. Okay? We will be keeping big photo of Gandharvika Giridhari. So, you people have to frame it. The Pujari team has to frame it. So, you see how big your Julan is and how big the photo should be. And accordingly, you frame it and nicely decorate the photo and everything. So, I had a discussion, even Koti Pro was there. So, we had a discussion with head of the deity department, Discon, Shitalanga Prabhu. So, whatever questions we were asking, he was just you know, hammering us left and right. What do you people think? Deities are game or what? You, know, you play with this because there is a huge standard which has to be followed I mean, public programs, even at home he was telling, even at home, even in the temples. Standards means might vary but then there are some basic standards which has to be followed. So we cannot just get deities here and there and nowhere in our entire Janmashtami we should have Laddu Gopal anywhere. So ISKCON, we follow Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya. And Gaudiya Vaishnavas means only Radha Krishna, Gornita, Jagannath, Valdeya, Subhadra. Laddu Gopal comes in the Sampradaya of uh, Rudra Sampradaya or Vallabhacharya Sampradaya, hmm. Pushti Marg. So, in our ISKCON programs, be it in the temple, ideally at home also. And I have told this before only. Huh? About the previous slides, so then you said that Laddu Gopal should No, no, we can clearly tell them that uh, this is not allowed you know, from the temple. Yeah. That should be okay. A PLS team, I don't think, because already some this is going on. Yeah, yeah, no? yeah, yeah. So, PLS might not shift, but other six venues will be shifting. Yeah. That's okay, bro. We'll print it again. <laughs> Actually, why? But uh, none of the devotees told that uh, last from yesterday we, when we had discussion with our teams and we got to know that uh, there is no holiday for any school on 18th. It's only on 19th. No, 19th of At least one day school there is no holiday. No, but many schools have. Uh, yes, yeah. So what is the use of having kids program and all that, you know, fully big organizing and then no one comes. You know, it will be difficult. So considering all this and also the gadgeted holiday is on 19th. The bank holiday and all. So somehow we miss that. Anyways, now you are corrected. <laughs> so, this is clear. You all can start at 7 o'clock itself. But please make sure the stage is ready and then you get the deities. Okay. So, when the stage is ready, so uh, means all the florist, decorate, all the flower decoration and everything is done. And then you sprinkle Ganga Jal Gomutra everywhere on the stage. And then you get the deities. This is a very, very important thing. Because these people, you know, they wear chappal and all that and they don't take bath also at times. So, they are doing the decoration. So, make sure that, you know, you do this. After everything is done, you again clean the place with uh, broom and cloth and whatever. And then sprinkle Ganga, Ganga Jal Gomutra everywhere. And then, you now you can get the deities. Now, see, I need not explain about Achman and all that. I am sure everyone knows. So, I am not getting into that basic. So, when you are doing any deity worship service, whenever you are going close to the deities, you have to make sure your clothes are clean, 
and you have done achman and then comes the next thing whatever okay without that no devotee should be allowed without achman without clean clothes not allowed and any devotee in kurta is not allowed utri should be there mandatory whenever you are doing any service of the deities utri should be there and mataji should cover their head you know when they clo- close to the deities hmm? is that clear everyone so we keep coming to the deities to Every time we come onto the stage, or uh, at what point of time we should do that arjuna? So if you're not normally, pujaris will not do any other seva according to me, right? right? Uh-huh. So if you're doing it, doing some other seva and touching various things, then again you have to do arjuna. Okay, that time. Ha. But then if you're doing some deity related service only, continue. Then it's okay. Then Just put water in the hands and then uh-huh. continue. Okay. Ah, hmm. uh, not is okay. Not is okay. But normally traditional style is you know, the way we wear. Unstitched. Un- uh, unstitched. And traditional style, Uttri, the way we do, the Aarti. Mm-hmm. Yes, but it, it, it becomes short style, style not. Okay, here you are saying. Okay, that is okay. Anything else? So all the uh, male Pujaris make sure the hair is short. Yes, ideally if it is clean, it is very nice. Yes, but hair should be short. Yes, but hair should be short. Yes, ideally if it is clean, it is very nice. Yes, but hair should be short. It shouldn't be long. We are going public, right? So, we have to make sure the standards are followed nicely. Done? Everyone? Okay. Okay, so four deities we have, which are coming from Mayapur. One for Pannatur, second Sarjapur, third uh, uh, Whitefield, fourth uh, Kannamangla. Here, the deities will already be dressed, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, I'm someone. And then, uh, Kagdas Pura team? Huh. So, the deities are coming from another devotee, I don't know. But they are coming from there. Huh. So, these deities are there. So, these four deities which are coming from Mayapur, for them, the dresses we have already ordered. Koti Pro and myself will be going for purchasing the jewellery also. So, everything will be given. <coughs> so, just have to dress them. For other places, you have to find out Prabhu. Hmm. For PLH also, Prabhu, I think Radha Krishna deities are coming from somewhere, no? Yes. Small marble deities, two feet. Still not okay. That you can check. Hmm. So for that, you people have to arrange. So everything will be arranged for the four deities, including the hair, clothes, jewellery, everything. Prabhu, just for me. So regarding this ornaments, we are going to have Jagna Balde deity. Um, there, we don't have enough ornaments for us. So where can we procure them in case we require a... So, uh, we are going out, so maybe you can. Here only can do. Ah. Oh, okay. But feta that will not get here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. That you have to order it. So where are we planning to buy it? So our HBR layout has stitched dresses for us. Oh. Yeah. Our main temp- our parent temple has stitched dresses. So, so all the best. There is one shop in India. Yeah. India There is one more for ornament. You can share the, you can put in the, our uh, group now, yeah, yeah. in the Pujari group you can put, yeah. it will help. Okay, done? Let's go to the schedule now. So this is the schedule and uh, we are going to discuss the schedule in detail, every single point and wherever you have doubt, please ask. So the first thing that starts is with the Bhoga offering at 5.45 in the morning. So I hope everyone knows how to wake up the deities, so you do Achman, ring the bell, go inside. Uh, pay obeisances and beg them that uh, please uh, give up your transcendental sleep and cast your merciful glance onto all the three worlds you know, for all auspiciousness. And uh, do you, uh, the procedure is like you touch the feet and you ring the bell and then you, you know, chant the prayers. But you can do the simple thing what I said just now. And then you offer the bhoga. So on the altar it is clear as we do in the home that every deity will have one glass of water. So that is there. I have not put that in the slide. Maybe if you all want, you can make a note. So in the morning, we are going to offer bhoga. But one, Radha Krishna one glass is there? No, no. Radha one and Krishna yeah, one. Yeah. And Gauranga one, Nityananda. <laughs> okay, so bhoga offering. So what bhoga to offer, we'll discuss that. So that is also specific, we'll discuss. 6 o'clock, the Mangalarti will happen. Then 8 o'clock, so, all of you, the Pujari team has to place this request to your respective vendor 
that there should be some sort of curtain that should be available that you can put. Okay. There are two types of curtain. One is the which will cover the full deities. Another one is called as half curtain, you know, where uh, only the bhoga will be hidden. So full curtain will be putting now at 8 o'clock and then you will be offering the garlands, you know, to the deities. And if some other ornaments, if you have extra ornaments, you want to offer that, you can offer that also. Shringar. Basically, yeah, Shringar, you are doing that. So in half an hour, you know, we will try to finish that and 8.30 will offer second bhoga. And 8.45 will be the Aarti. Dhupa Aarti. I'll explain what is Dhupa Aarti and all. Okay, any, any questions till now here? Okay, next is 12 o'clock we'll have Bhoga offering. Now this Bhoga offering you have to put that small curtain oh. that is there. Yeah, we should ask them. They will give. They'll have designer uh, curtains and all. They'll give. It's plain ones only. Uh, no, no. You asked them? We have, we have never asked. Yes, yes. We have never asked. Correct. Ah, correct. Correct. So, this time we have to So, maybe for ACS layout, you can take this. This uh, separator. No? Huh. That is like, I am just talking about the ideal thing. Jugad, you all can do. <laughs> On the spot, you all can do. Ah, that will be good if we can have like that. Select a separate yeah. mandap with the four pillars. That will be good if we can have like that. Yeah. yeah we will try for that. If not, then I'll always do it. Okay. That all, you all know, right? Basically, curtain should be there. Curtain should be there. Ha, that's it. Hmm. So, half curtain is from here, downside. Correct. Here. Only bhoga will be hidden. Oh, Deities can be seen. Because when they, they, people are coming to take darshan, right, right. so that can obstruct. Yeah. Yeah. The night you are not offering any garland. No. Only dress. So only dress and some shringar and then morning you do arti just like that. And after that at 8 o'clock you want to offer all the garlands and everything. Okay. So we will close it to this pardana post. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. With details, yeah. So that time you will not keep any garland there. Then, sense, uh, you are offering garland only at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Before that there are no garlands. Okay. Hmm? No, no. Okay, and then uh, 12 o'clock we have the third bhoga offering and 12.15 full aarti. Hmm? So, see whenever there is bhoga offering, immediately after that there will be an aarti. That's how you can remember. Hmm? So, probably what is different between <coughs> Mangalarti at 6 and at full aarti at 12.15? That's same, I'll explain again. No, we have another slide for that. I'm just telling the schedule now. 4.15 again we have bhoga offering and then we have aarti again. Hmm? 6 o'clock we have bhoga offering and again 6.30 we have aarti. 7 o'clock Pallaki Utsav will start. 8 o'clock is the Abhishekam. So this is an elaborate uh, thing that we need to discuss today. <coughs> and we have Pushpa Abhishekam at 11.30 which I have not mentioned here. Now this Pushpa Abhishekam that is going to happen is for the big deities. So you people have to arrange Pushpa Abhishekam for big deities. And at 12 o'clock we have uh, the midnight uh, this one. I'll just make the change here before I forget. Okay, till now we were doing only uh, for Akshay Sogra or we used to do Nakul now this time? No, no, last time also we did. Big Gate 11 11.30. Yeah, yeah. Videos are there. Yeah, he is there now in that video. <laughs> we did now, bro. So 11.30 we have Pushpa Abhishekam and 12 o'clock this one. Okay. Who is qualified for the Seva? Second initiated devotees according to ISKCON standard. Only second initiated devotees. But then now since we have expanding like this. So we are allowing first initiated devotees also. But I heard at some venues there are no first initiated devotees also. So strictly 16 rounders who are following four related principles very nicely who know things about, who knows various details about deity worship, they can be allowed. But if you have initiated devotees, second initiated devotees, then no need to allow uh, 16 rounders to come and do any seva. Okay. And Mataji should be only in the background seva. Yes. So you all need not come on the uh, stage you know, to do arti or whatever. 
because in india no, no, you know <laughs> yes any questions so anyone who comes on the stage to do aarti for bhoga offering dhoti and men should also wear kopin and up we have uh, uttari Tilak should be there at all the 12 places in the body. I need not explain all this, but still I am saying, just mentioning. Yes. Okay, bhoga offering. So these are the different bhoga offerings that we need to do in the entire day. So 5.45, we need to offer gulab jamun or rasgulla or rasmalai. Hmm. So this uh, you need to make one day before and keep it ready. And then in the morning you have to offer this at 5.45. 8.30 am, this is the second bhoga offering. So we have, this is like the breakfast. So we have something, any main dish, then we can have side dish, juice and sweet. Hmm. 12 p.m. So this is the Raj Bhoga offering, which happens in the temple, where 14 items are offered. But now depending on the team size, depending on your capacity, offer as opulent Bhoga as possible hmm. at 12 o'clock. But this, you, you should avoid this common offering which are coming also. This is only cooked by devotees. Okay, these offerings are not cook for Krishna offerings. Cook for Krishna is just bonus. Hmm. And this is... Only for Jagannath. Yeah. Aha. It's only for Jagannath. And this one uh, is... All these offerings are cooked by devotees. Ideally second initiated. If not, at least first initiated. If not, strictly 16 rounders following 4 related principles. And no dicey devotees here. Hmm. Sometimes 16, sometimes 8 and all that. No. 415, cut fruits offering. So whatever fruits you want to offer, you can offer. Cut fruits. 7 p.m. Again, we have this is a dinner basically. So, main dish, side dish, juice, and sweet. This will be cooked by Pujari team. Yeah, yeah. Pujari team, yeah. Now, after this, when the Abhishekam happens, after that, whatever bhoga you want to offer, that you can offer. Mm. So, if you have planned for Chappan bhog, any, time, any team is you know, capable to offer Chappan bhog, it's up to you. Or at least some offering you know, has to be done. Mm. When is that after Abhishekam, after dressing, after Pushpa Abhishekam, no, no, main Abhishekam, after that we have dressing of the Utsam Vigra I am talking about. Oh, mm. And then after that, just before the Aarti, we can offer. No, no, this will be like uh, going back to the schedule, 8 p.m. the Abhishekam starts. So it will be around, I think, 10 o'clock the Bhoga offering will happen. Mm -hmm. ah. 10 o'clock the Bhoga offering. Because Abhishekam will go for two hours, two, two and a half hours. So, because Kalash Abhishek and all is there, so. So, this Kalash Abhishek, so normally we allow them to offer. No, we are coming to that. I have a slide for that. Just you, just you talk about this, huh? No, no, huh? Huh? No, Palki we have to arrange, vendors will decorate. Ah, Palki we have to arrange. Vendor can give that side here. They will not have Palki. They will not have Palki. Main dish, side dish. That's up to you all. Ah. See, this is minimum. Devotees love can grow and flow and then you can offer as many items as possible. This is minimum, standard. Minimum. It's not like hard and fast. I remember it was, I think, uh, ISKCON disciple course was going on and one devotee is asking, uh, is it an offense to chant more than 16 rounds? <laughs> <laughs> so that is minimum 16. Uh, so there is minimum standard that I am talking about. Hmm? So 10 o'clock is the last offering, right? Yeah. Now after that, uh, RP will be there. Hmm. Mahamangala. Yeah. yeah. Pushpa Abhishekam and then the RP will go. If cake is there, we can offer at the end. Okay. Hmm? That is after uh, main RP, right? Yeah, Just before the main RP. Keep the cake. Hmm? Ah, huh. it all depends on the team. Ah, huh. it all depends on the team. That that and all is practicality. You all manage. So every time we do bhoga offering, we need to have curtains. Yes, we will not do open offering. We'll we'll have curtains for that. Now, when people get cooked for Krishna bhogas, yes, so when we are offering that, if it is onion garlic or something, then we cannot offer. So, just to keep their feelings, 
So we'll just keep it under the Lord, and some offered Tulsi will put it on this and give give it to them. We'll not chant any mantras or whatever. Yes. And uh, even for the other bhogas which are there, mm. which are which are coming from other people. See, according to the shastra, only when devotees cook, I was talking to Shitalanga Prabhu, so he was telling me that uh, only when devotees cook, Lord will accept. Yes. So when other people are getting, so this we can actually follow for all all of them. You keep it in another Lord and then put uh, may offer offer tulasi and then just give it to them or send it for distribution, whatever. No mantras. Ha, ideally no. Ideally no. Ha, so it's like follow the procedure, keep it uh, in front of the Lord, you know, sprinkle Achman water and uh, you know just join your palms and then put offer tulasi and then give it to them. The devotees ka will offer it here, no? So that we have to coordinate. Pujari team is different. I am asking other devotees coming. No, the Pujari team can... Uh, they can take from other devotees, 16 rounders. How will we identify? That they will know. Yeah. That uh, they will coordinate. Because mostly all the devotees will be at the venue. Our teams are very small everywhere. <laughs> Band or stamp pro? Stamp. <laughs> okay, bhoga offering. Any questions, anyone? Is this clear? Hmm? What has to be offered? Bhoga offering, like, is there anything like a taste like a bitter all types of processes? You all can offer. All the, how many types it is? Six types of uh, rasas, tastes. You all, you all can offer. Mostly in the 12 o'clock offering, no? All that will be there. All that will be there, 12 o'clock offering. Okay, everyone? Any question? Okay, next. Aarti. So there is something called as full Aarti and Dhupa Aarti. Hmm. So full Aarti is like the seven items that we offer, starting with incense, the five wig ghee lamp, water in the conch, handkerchief, and then uh, flowers in the plate, Chamar and peacock feather. Yes, so these are the seven items that we offer. So that is full arati. Hmm. And uh, in the temples at 12 o'clock, they have karpur arati also. Just before offering five week lamp, they offer karpur arati. Hmm. 12 noon. 12 noon, yeah. 12 noon. Hmm. So the, the, this is called as full arati. Now when it comes to dhupa arati, dhupa arati means incense, flowers, chamar and peacock feather. Incense, flowers in the plate, chamar and peacock feather. This is dhupa arati. What is missing is dhupa and uh, what? water. Water and gachi. Yeah. Okay. Agarbati, flowers, chamar and peacock feather. This is dhupa arati. <coughs> now in the midnight, 12 midnight, no, it will be nice if we can have the kumba arati. Have you seen the pyramid arati? If every venue has that, then we can uh, offer that. Uh, first, we can offer the pancha arti. Uh, full arti will be offering 12 midnight. Okay. Incense, <coughs> then 5 week lamp, and then the pyramid arti. Just that is an extra. Pancha arti, ha, after pancha arti, add that pyramid arti, and after that, the next. Other things remain the same. Is it clear, everyone? Huh? It's kumba arti. So, we have different layers. See, when you're doing Aarti, now it depends <coughs> how many altars you have. Yes. So you need to stand in such a position that you can worship all the three altars. So I remember 2019, I was doing the last final Aarti. So no, I was there in, in middle. Then I was turning at this side also and then turning that side also now. Ideally, three pujaris will be good if you have three altars. <laughs> no, it will be difficult to sink. Paraphernalia is also difficult. Let's, let's have one pujari doing arati. You just turn, no, turn and do here and there. That's okay. No need to move, but turn. Turn, yeah. So, so, Prabhuji, so when we do that, so on the main uh, first altar, uh, first level, we have Radha Krishna. And then we just go to Thai family, or the second level also. So after that, then we'll shift to say other side of the Jagannath Bhagavad Gita. See, sequence you follow. Sequence is 
Radha Krishna we have, then Jagannath Baldev Subhadra if we have, uh-huh. then Gaur Nithai, Panchatva Narasimha Dev and then Guru Parampara. Sequence will remain the same. Hmm. Only the altars we have made different, so that is okay. Okay? Hmm? Now let's go to the uh, this important one that is Abhishek. So this needs a lot of expertise. Expertise is not training. So what all has to be done and things like that. So Abhishek will start at 8 o'clock. Hmm? Now there is something called a Shodshat Upchara. Okay? So this is what we are supposed to do. So which I will be explaining now practically also what has to be done. So I have made a document for our ISKCON white field that we can follow. So it will be sent to all of you. So the reference is Mayapur's uh, Abhishekam manual. So what all things have to be done before the Abhishekam. Okay. So now uh, the deities have to be dressed in white cotton clothes. I will share. I will share the PPT. I will share everything whatever is there. Yeah, I don't note this. It's okay. But there will be some things which might not be there which practically you need to write. That you write down. So, here we have to dress the deities in white clothes, white cotton clothes or white silk clothes. Our, but our experience is white cotton cloth is good. No, that grip will be there for white cotton cloth. Hmm? So, you take the deities to the deity room inside or behind the stage, dress them, keep them ready. Now, then you have to set the table. So, make sure the table is sturdy, it doesn't move. And then this is called as Snana Bedi or the bathing place, the table for us. And this is a, a bathing plate you know, that will be there. So make sure every team has one. So this is a small one, but Soma Sutra, now which uh, has an outlet also. This does not have an outlet. I hope all the teams have one. Any team that is not having? What is that? No, no, we have. Huh. Here, I think we'll have one more. Whitefield? I doubt. Doubt. Okay. So, make a list. Ha, so, see, that is what is the session all about. Make a list, procure it. Simple. No. We have one list of time. Huh? So then, procure it. Hmm. I think, I don't know if it is available, ready made available, or have to make it. It should be available. BVK Iyengar Road. BVK Iyengar Road. It should be brass or uh... brass only. Go for brass, if not, then... What Steel. Brass or copper? Brass or copper? Copper. If you get steel also, it's okay. Because I've seen big temples, they have steel. Uh, steel yeah. Brass, copper or steel? Steel. Huh. So, if you don't have, so what you can do is, say you're going for purchasing, you post in the group that we're going for purchasing. So, if some other, duo, some other team does not have, you know, they can post there, and then together you all can get it. Can you group or... It's there, huh? You are there in that group. <laughs> okay. So, this is uh, the Soma Sutra. Hmm. So, now the Soma Sutra and the table, everything has to be cleaned very nicely, thoroughly. Yes. And you can uh, clean the table and everything with, again, Gangajal Gomutra. You can always have, you know, some uh, vessel in which Gangajal Gomutra is there. Sprinkle and clean. Hmm. Now, this uh, Soma Sutra that is there, in that we have to draw this. This is called as Goloka Yantra. Hmm. So this is pretty simple, not very difficult. I don't know how to explain. Three circles, three huh? See, first what you have to do is make the three circles. Okay? One, two, three. In that Soma Sutra itself, no, at least our round Soma Sutra, it has got circles, three circles. So if you don't have, no problem. I mean, there is no competition of no, so perfect this one. Down on the Soma Sutra? Yeah, yeah. The Soma Sutra. Sutra. So, so with, with no, no, I'm telling. So, you have to make chandan paste. Okay, chandan, you have to make a paste out of uh, that sandalwood stick. And then use your ring finger and then draw three circles first. And then draw the petals which are there. Eight, Eight petals. So, first you draw the side ones and then middle ones can automatically come. Mm. Huh? And in between, then you draw the star. And this is the Bij Akshara that is there which only second initiative devotees are supposed to chant and this one, but you can just write it. Okay? It's clean. Yes, it's clean. clean. Okay, is that clear? And then in between, you have to keep one tulsi leaf here. Any doubts? Clean or clean? Clean or clean? Clean. 
What do you chant in Gayatri, that one? <laughs> yeah. So, okay, clear? So, this is on the Soma Sutra. Hmm? You are supposed to do it on the Soma Sutra. Hmm? Now, after that, the next one. So, all this is clear. Hmm. Now, we have to get the deities. So, when you are getting the deities, so what we have to do is, uh, we have to blow the conch first. And then, in a very ceremonious way, we should get the deities. Where there are devotees offering chamar and peacock feather and then, you know, two devotees are getting the deities. If you have enough people, you can do all this. If not, then see how it can be done. But it should, it should be ceremonious. In a way, the deities are coming. People should know deities are coming. And the Kirtaniya should know that they are supposed to say, Shri Shri Gandhar Vika Giridhari Shriman Mahaprabhu Ki Jai or Shri Shri Radha Krishna Ki Jai, whatever. And then they come here. Now, in some venues, Gornitai are going to be worshipped. In some venues, Radha Krishna are going to be worshipped. The procedure will remain the same. That's not going to change. No, no, no. Kirtan team is there. <laughs> so we have you know, our Gornitai Radha Krishna in the form of Krishna Balram here. <laughs> so we stand on the left side whenever we do Aarti or whenever we do the Abhishekam, you know, when we start all this. So this is called a Shoda Shat Upchara. I'll just brush through first and then uh, you know, I'll show practically what has to be done. So the, all this has to be by hearted, memorized. So we are having this session before itself. Uh -huh. So this document will be sent to everyone. So first, so what are these upcharas? Upcharas means you are doing some seva to them. The 16 sevas that we do. Shod shat means 16. Hmm? So we are offering 16 items to the lordships as seva. At home also you all can do, you know, when you have your personal deities, you, know, you all can do this. So asan. So first we offer the lord asan. Then we welcome the lord. Then we wash the feet of the lord. Then we wash the hands of the lord. Then achman, we give water for sipping. To wash the mouth. Then we offer a drink. This is a refreshing drink called Madhuparka. Then again we give water for washing the mouth. That's called Punarachman. And then we offer Pishtadeep. Pishtadeep is like the nine wick lamps which are made up of uh, rice flour. And then have I written here? Milk. Your rice flour, sugar and milk. Sugar powder and milk. And then we start with the Abhisheka. Snana. That's not needed. Hmm. Then we start with snana. Okay. Now till here I'll I'll show and explain on how to do it. Okay. <coughs> okay. I'll stand here, but you have to stand on the left side. Okay. So the lordships are here. So you, you know, fold your palms and then you know you give them asan. Yes. So normally the mula mantras which are there, which second initiated devotees can chant. So the ones who are second initiated devotees, I'll tell personally. For the ones you know who are first initiated and sixteen rounders, for them you uh, say idam asanam. So the mantras are also there here. Yes, idam asanam, and there is be there is bijakshara followed by the name of the deity. Hmm. So say we have Radha and Krishna. So you say idam asanam, Krishna and Namaha. Idam idam asanam. Radhika is Swaha. Yes. So these are the two mantras you know, that we offer. And for second initial devotees, we have something before also that they have to chant. Hmm? So this is the first one. You just fold your palms and then you, uh, you know, offer this uh, mantra. You are requesting them. See, it's all personal. It is not a mechanical thing. It's all personal. As if you no know, a guest has come to your place and the guest is coming, what do you do the first thing? You give them asan to sit. Right? That's what we're doing now. Now we give them the asan to sit. And then we welcome them. So take flowers and then offer you know, to their lordships. So first we offer it to Krishna. So again we say, you know, uh, Itani Pushpani. And then you offer and then you say, you chant the mantra. Krishna Namaha. And then you offer it to Srimati Radharani and then chant the mantra. Hmm? So this is like you are welcoming them. And you say, Swagatam Suswagatam. Hmm? Swagatam Suswagatam. That's what is the second thing that we see here. Now, when the guest has come, the first thing that you, again after all this, the first thing that you do is you wash their feet. So you ring the bell and then you offer at the lotus feet. Yes. And this mantra there, you can see. Where is that? Etat Padyam. Etat Padyam. So for both the feet, both the lotus foot you can offer. And you chant the mantra. Krishna Yanamaha. And then again for Radharani. No. For both the foot. You can put the water and then chant the mantra. Okay. So this is washing the lotus feet. Hmm? 
Two times or two foot lotus foot, so you have to offer two times. That's it. Gaurai Namaha, Nityananda Namaha. So this you all ask me personally. I'll text you all whatever is needed. Huh? Depending your abhi customize karna hai na vijanmastami. To aap log mujhe bataiye kya which date is you are keeping and then we'll. On the plate, so in front of the Lord you put, like this. Not on the, in front of the Lord. You, your meditation is you are looking at the foot and then you are offering in front of the Lord. Huh? So this is for of washing the lotus feet of the Lordships. Now second, after that, you are washing their hands. Hmm? So again, the mantra is given there, that is idam argyam. And then you look at the uh, hands of the Lord and then you put the water. And you chant the mantra. So four times it will happen. Right? Two, two hands. No, no, what I am doing that has to be done. Huh? Yes. With Achman. Huh? And then after that, you give water for washing the mouth. Hmm? So it's called as Achman. Hmm? So three times, you know, you put the water. Now you need not chant Om Keshavaya Namaha Narayana Madhavaya That's for us, not for them. <laughs> yes. You give three times, you know, you put the water. And then you chant the mantra. So it's like you're looking at their lotus mouth and then you're putting the water down. And same for Srimati Radharani also. Idam Achmanyam. Idam Achmanyam. Idam 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 Argyam. Washing the hands. So Etat Padya is what? Washing the foot. Washing the hands is Argyam. And then Achman is the, wash, washing the mouth. Yes? Sipping, huh? So, after every mantra, we have to uh, uh, say Krishna Ayanamaha. Huh. Right? Yeah. So, after offering this, Etat Padyam and then Krishna Ayanamaha. Hmm. Okay? Hmm? So, this one, this prefix of Etat and Idam, uh, Idam we have to use here because. Uh, this is Sanskrit uh, things, <laughs> yeah, the, like you are pointing to the article. So, I, I don't know if it is plural or something like that, but. Uh, yeah. You sometimes get confused where to use the Ethel Dhamma. So before sleeping, do Shorsha Dupchar in the mind. <laughs> While you taking bath, do Shorsha Dupchar to yourself. <laughs> one one person should be there you know, behind you. <laughs> there should be one assistant. Even if you know everything, there should be an assistant. Yeah. And like you know, at that time on the stage, maybe we will be like confusing. So for reference, we keep it. Not that every time we refer and <laughs> yeah. just forget. Okay. And that devotee can you know, murmur from behind, and then we can repeat. Prompt. 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 Okay. Now there is something called as refreshing drink called madhu parka. Hmm? So madhu parka is made with uh, honey, yogurt, ghee, milk, and sugar. All of that, I, this is given, four spoons of honey and rest one, one spoon each. This is called a refreshing drink. So now the guest has come to your place, so you offer them, not the chai, you are offering them madhu parka. <laughs> yes. So you keep the madhu parka in front of the Lord, and then uh, for uh, the second initiated devotees, you chant uh, a particular Gayatri mantra which I will tell, which we chant every day. And then for the other devotees, you can chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra ten times. Okay? So you keep the madhu parka in front of the lord maybe two bowls you can keep and you can put tulasi you know in that and then you chant the hare krishna mahamantra 10 times closing your eyes and you can count on your fingers so you count it like this ever kaise bhi count kar lo with parag ticket done so this is madhu parka offering no no only we are closing eyes and we are doing it so that could be disposable bowls which yes Disposable bowls is okay, but if you can keep nice bowls. Silver bowls. Hmm? Ah, silver, gold also. <laughs> yes, so you can keep. Hmm? If you have nothing, is that disposable? Donna bowls. Clear till here, everyone. So, first asanam, then swagatam, and then padya, argya, achman, maduparka. Hmm? Now, the seventh one. Again, punar achmanyam. So what we do here is, again we give water for sipping or washing the mouth. So again you do the same thing. So you three times in front of the Lord, you look at the 
lotus mouth of the Lord and then put it in front of the Lord, the water. So they are washing their mouth again. Okay, three times I'll write that. Three times. Huh? No, four times is nothing. So when you're looking at the feet, two times you do for each deity, two, two times. Looking at the hands, two, two times. Mouth yeah. is huh. mouth you put water. Three times. So Esha Madhuparka and then again you say Krishna Enamaha. Yes. You keep that in front of the Lordships and then you indicate Esha Madhuparka Krishna Enamaha. Hmm? Again, close your eyes and then chant Hare Krishna Mantra 10 times. Yes. Like when you offer bhoga, you leave it for 10, 5 10 minutes, no? Yes. Instead of that, here you chant Hare Krishna Mantra standing, closing your eyes. Then they can remove it and put in that Abhishekam uh, uh, collecting. Ha. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that Madhuparka that is there, you can put it in uh, the uh, Panchamrata uh, vessel that will be there. No, 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 no. If it is needed, I'll tell. So it's not needed. So whatever I'm telling, that is enough. Yes, huh? So Puna Rachman. So after after Madhu Parka again, Puna Rachman. So now seven upcharas are done. What are those first? Asan. Okay, we'll tell uh, the uh, this one. Idam Asan. Idam Asanam. Next. Swagatam su swagatam, then etat padhyam, idam argyam, pishtadim, 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 yes, idam achmanyam, then esha madhuparka, punar achmanyam, idam punar achmanyam, okay, what will happen? Okay, let's try to do this here, let's try to do this. And after that comes Pishta Deepa. Hmm. So now that uh, plate with nine wick lamps, you are going to offer it to the Lordships in uh, clockwise circles. That is seven times to each personality. Done? So in one hand you are ringing the bell, in one other hand you are offering. If say you are offering with two hands, then one person should ring the bell. Your assistant should ring the bell. Any questions still here? Yeah, yeah. So in one, all the time the bell is ring. Yeah, you ring the bell and you are doing the upchara. Hmm? Both the hands are engaged. See, Archana Vidhi is all about engaging all the senses in service. So both the hands are engaged all the time. So this pista the cups, do you have to prepare the day before, uh, from in the morning, so that it will dry and. Uh, no, no, just few hours before. Few hours before. It will break. If it dries, no, it will break. Okay, let's do Abhishekam now. So this is all Upchara before Abhishekam. Now starts the Snana. So now what all to do you know, for Snana? So that's the Deepa Pishta Deepa. So if the key, the wicks will be within the key, small wicks. Yeah, yeah. Wicks have to be big only. In the entire Janmashtami, all the wicks have to be big. Because that Aarti should go to everyone. Right? Means we need not pass it on to the audience, but it can be kept in front so that anyone who is coming, they can. They can take. Ah, that, one, that also is okay. Okay, na? Acha lag raha na training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you're fully engaged. You know, you cannot think anything at that time. You cannot. Even even if your person is very hungry, nirjal is going on, you'll forget for those two hours, no? Not remember. Okay, let's start with uh, the snana. So the snana, the first thing is you offer suganda taila. Hmm. Suganda taila is like the fragrant oil. The nasim oil that we offer, no? For nasim arti, that same oil you can offer. So take cotton, put uh, some drops in that and then apply it throughout the body of the lordships nicely. Not on the face. Not in the eyes and all, throughout the body. And massage very nicely, the entire body. Hmm. See, all this, no, has to be done quickly. It cannot go around, say, you know, it's going on and, you know, it takes good amount of time. Thinking, you said massage, they will take one hour. <laughs> 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 no one can mention how long it is. <laughs> so, it has to be, you know, 
क्विक मतलब ऐसा भी नहीं एकदम फटाफट फटाफट यू यू नीड टू एनालाइज नम टाइम हाउ मच टाइम इज देयर विथ अस Yeah, two devotees can do. Yeah, 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 like that. So every place, two devotees at least should be there for doing this seva. But this uh, uh, seva till point number seven, from uh, asan till uh, puna rajmane, only one devotee will be doing that. After sugandhi tela, after no nicely uh, massaging. Next thing that we offer is the paste of white til, six m seeds. so it will look like butter so then we apply throughout the body again you massage yes and then you take uh, now water this is white till or black till white white that also i should write huh? mm. ah, i'll write mm. white till okay mm. then after that till snan so in a container you can mix the till paste and whatever is remaining that also can be mixed in that and then pour it now see this entire thing that we are doing from now snana so you need to have a separate container that you will be keeping hmm. and then when the panchamrata starts at that time there should be different container okay so panchamrata juice and other things will be collected in one container and all this will be collected in one container panchagavya is that clear this i have not written anywhere so you people have to have kya kya likho document mein <laughs> so this you have to note down so all this in one container then till snan and then you put separate container what what was the utilization you do that the water that can be put uh, to some trees or something like that plants yeah. till snan and then put uh, normal water pure water and after that starts panchagavya snana panchagavya means the five items coming from the cow that is cow dung cow urine milk curd and ghee so all that you mix Uh, I don't know if I have written. Okay. So when it comes to cow urine, just uh, one, drop. one drop, and cow dung, a few, just one particle or so, and then other so you can just mix whatever is there. Okay, in one one container, you mix all this in one container. Then now the conscious use will start. So every single item that you are offering. So when you say one container, it's a big vessel of. Uh, one kalasha, kalasha, small kalasha. Hmm? Ah, we have these different uh, steel pots, no, which we use normally. That one, kalash. So in that, uh, around half of it, you can make this. Half or quarter is also okay. So every single kalasha should have tulsi leaf in it. Every single item should have tulsi in it. Okay, and then that you pour it in the conchal. Now the use of conchal will start now for the first time, and then you pour it on the lordships. So how do you offer? You know, first you offer it to the feet, and then you offer it from the head. Now say you are a person who is offering to both Radha and Krishna. So first you have to offer it to Krishna's lotus feet, then Radha Rani's lotus feet, and from the top you can bathe Radha Rani, right? It's like uh, you first offer it to Krishna, then offer it to Shrimati Radha Rani. But if two pujaris are there, you know, one person can bathe only Shrimati Radha Rani, and one person can bathe only Krishna. Now when you are doing this Abhishekam also, it has to be in sync. That is very important. Hmm. So both you know, of them can wait. Yeah, pujaris can wait, you know, till their conchals are filled, and both of them together should bathe them. Okay. Now after this, you know, whenever we have Abhishekam, we all will like look at, look very carefully. <laughs> What are these two taklus doing there? <laughs> so we do all these things. You know, we are in sync. We'll wait for each other, and then when time is less, you know, we do some other jugad also in between. So all these things will happen. Is that clear? So pancha gavya, and then something called kusha snana. So again, we have you know, one kalash in that we have pure water, and you mix some kusha grass, you no know, long kusha grass. You break it into small pieces and put it in that, and then you bathe again the lotus leaves. Now every time you are bathing, you know you in the internally or in your mouth you can keep chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Now pujaris have to keep chanting the holy names. Hmm? Till here, yeah, till here kirtan will happen. Okay. Now Brahma Samhita will start from the milk. पंचामृता स्नाना तो ब्रह्म संहिता विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर सो यू नीड टू वन ऑफ योर टीम मेंबर शुड गो एंड टेल द कीर्तन यस टू स्टैंड ब्रह्म संहिता यू कैन सो कुशाग्रास यू कैन मेक इट अ रिंग एंड वेर इट 
Actually, many things are there, but uh, it's optional. For our Janmashtami, it's optional. Any questions till now? No, continue will change. Huh. Huh. So, from panch so Panchamrita, now the container will change. So, immediately you have to change the container. So, Panchamrita Snana, this is the sequence. So, this is the sequence that is given. So, milk, yogurt, ghee, honey and sugar water. Oh, I have not written the ratio. Hmm. Okay. So, it is like, uh, I think I will send the quantity in this one. So, there, are, there is a ratio you know, that we normally use. So, ratio I will send it. So, milk will be in huge quantity. Then the next half of that will be yogurt. And half, half of that will be honey. Honey and then sugar water and then ghee. If I am not wrong, anyways, I will send that uh, ratio. As yogurt, we can buy a ready-made thing or we should prepare a yogurt? No, you can buy ready-made. Organ, what do you call it? A2. Uh, make sure that it should not be very cold. Uh. Milk should not be very All cold. of it, you should make sure it is not very cold. Milk to okay, yogurt no, you should put it in a container and nicely beat it. Beat it uh, hmm. okay. Nicely beat it so that you know it is in a proper uh, consistency. Homogeneous. Homogeneous. Nicely beat it. Hmm. Yes. What I do, I generally shake the packet. Clear? So this is the sequence of that. Then fruit juices we can offer. Hmm. So if anybody is drinking milk packet or something, so in this thing, quality will change. Ah, quality will change. But uh, we have never had such experience in Janmashtami. Very, very, very rarely if they get it. It comes, it it comes in a daytime actually. Uh -huh. But if you store it till the night, it will get spoiled. So you send it to duties, they can make a milk or something. To give it to the cooks. Yeah, so give the cooks. They will make something with it. Anyways, so many bhoga offerings are there. Yeah. So. The fruit juice first will offer date syrup and after that five types of fruit juice. Any fruit juice which is non citrus. Non citrus. Non citrus. Non citrus. Ah. Ah. So, fruit juice, and after that, uh, you know, we have uh, the saffron water. Saffron, kesari. Hmm, that is kesari only, no, we call it as? Yes. Then put that in the water and then offer that water. Hmm. See, in all this, you are putting it in the conch. Nowhere you are directly pouring it on the Lord. Okay, it has to be put in the conch, then only you can offer it to the Lord. And in every single item, Tulasi put. Hmm? So, when we offer saffron, it will be two conches to devotees from both sides. Yeah. yeah. Two Everything same, bro. No, nothing changes. So, saffron is what? Saffron is like uh, in the container, water, and then put some uh, saffron uh, uh, what particles. Huh? So, huh. Yeah. Powder, no, there are some yes. fibers. <laughs> Fibers, fibers. Ah, Done? Fiber. Okay. Uh, Saffron water. After that, we have sugared syrup with uh, different food colors. Hmm? Yes, so, you can have you can have five. Five different types of uh, colors. Colored sugar syrup. Hmm? So, this uh, food color is it okay from, from uh, ah, that one only. Edible. Food edible. colors, food. Edible. edible. Those are edible. Hi, you all you all see. I don't think we add a lot to it. Just little we add, it becomes. Yeah, yeah. Color. Because our Iskon Abhishekam has like huge, it's like very grand and elaborate. So we add all this. After that, coconut water. So now coconut water, you have to keep the coconuts ready, the whole coconut. You make a hole, put tulasi in that, and then you offer. So now while offering, you have to offer directly. Mm. Hmm. So when you are offering it, maybe it will not fall on the Lord. So what we do is, we hold it like this with our fingers and then turn it. Hmm. So our fingers are in between, so it will fall on the Lord. <laughs> yeah, so you can hold the hole and then you pour it, it will come down directly on the Lord. Like this, when you pour it, it will not fall. So you have to put it ulta. Hmm? We'll, we'll decide, we'll tell. Hmm? We'll tell. Now only sequence and how to offer I am talking about. That all the details later I will. Only Panchamrita has a sequence. Decide one quantity and you go with that. Dopes. Any 
हाँ टेंडर को हाँ ये है तो बंगाली ओके आफ्टर दैट उष्णोद का स्नान दैट इज यू पुट वॉर्म वाटर यू ऑफर वॉर्म वाटर एंड आफ्टर दैट दिस वन इज राइस फ्लोर सो फ्रॉम हियर अगेन द कंटेनर चेंजेस ओनली टिल कोकोनट वाटर यू हैव दैट पंचामृता कंटेनर एंड आफ्टर दैट द कंटेनर चेंजेस ओके फ्रॉम हियर उष्णोद का स्नान चेंज द कंटेनर सी हियर यू आर गोइंग टू ऑफर राइस फ्लोर दैट डे डिट इज अ फास्टिंग यस राइस फ्लोर दे कैनॉट ईट सो सो देन यू हैव टू डस्ट द राइस फ्लोर ऑन द बॉडी ऑफ द लॉर्ड सो यू टेक इट इन अ दोना राइस फ्लोर यूज अ बिग फ्लावर एंड देन यू डस्ट इट फ्रॉम टॉप बॉटम टू टॉप फ्रंट बैक एवरीवेयर सो दिस एक्चुअली विल हेल्प टू रिमूव ऑल द स्टिकीनेस दैट इज देयर ऑन द बॉडी ऑफ द लॉर्ड Hmm. and then you can again uh, massage entire body and then put uh, uh, ushnodaka water again hmm. that is one question bro if it is not ekadashi time so this can also mix with uh, that container normally all the abhishek if you remember if you see bro it is during fasting time only for example nasim abhishek on 7 o'clock we do uh, break no but we break with ekadashi only no this time we had the non ekadashi okay But Abhishekam normally this is the sequence that is given, so you change. Ha. Huh. So generally this is the sequence. Every festival will be having some kind of fasting. So better to avoid confusion. So we can follow the same. After that, some tirtha jal you can offer. Warm water. We should get it from the kitchen, or we should have a separate small kettle. Have a kettle. You can have a kettle, or yeah. Means you can have a very hot water with you, and then mix it. You know, make it warm, and then. Yeah. You can have a kettle or something like that. Okay. From the kitchen also okay. If you don't have kettle, get it from the kitchen. Very hot water and keep it. It will become warm till you finish the abhishek. Yeah. Then tirtha jal, whatever tirtha jal you have, yamuna, Ganga, and things like that. Put it in a put normal water. Put all these different tirtha jal, whatever is available, and then offer it. Now this is done. Till here, any doubt? Clear. Mostly we will not try other gel. We will only use Ganga gel. Okay, no problem. Now this is called a sahasra dhara. Sahasra dhara is a plate with uh, many holes, right? Sahasra dhara with many holes. Now you put uh, fruits in that whole fruits. Yes, the fruits which you can hold. Don't put watermelon in that and then. <laughs> so put banana, ah, pineapple and all. Put banana, apple, mango, grapes. Hmm? so this you can put and hold now in sahasra dhara what we do is we hold it at the top and you don't move and i have seen devotees like you know, <laughs> fighting and moving you just hold and there should be one devotee pouring eight kalashas big kalashas of water okay so that has to be poured very fast and not aram se you know it has to be poured ekdam fast so the water will flow flow like that as a shower hmm. so pour it fast then it will you no know, come like shower So first, you just pour one kalasha, and after that, keep uh, some food color, maybe put uh, red color, hmm. and then you put water from that on that uh, food color, and then you put another color, and then you put. So like that, I think four or five colors we can put, and then last three kalashas can be normal water. Okay, everyone. So this sastra thar. Hmm. Now after this. No, no, no. Whole fruit. नहीं नहीं बनाना है ऐसा कुछ नहीं सीड एनी फ्रूट ठीक है सो दिस इज डन नाउ आफ्टर दिस आफ्टर सहस्रधारा आवर कलश अभिषेक विल स्टार्ट हाँ डायरेक्टली टू पोर एनी डाउट टिल हियर नाउ वी आर एंटरिंग इन टू अनदर टॉपिक ऑफ कलश अभिषेक देन अगेन विल कम बैक टू दिस पीडीएफ हो गया ना नाइस अभिषेकम विल हैपन ऑल द सेवन प्लेसेस ग्रैंड अभिषेकम ऑफ राधा कृष्ण गौरनिताय आफ्टर हाँ सहस्र धारा देन वी गो फॉर कलश या या दिस इज फॉर नॉर्मल अभिषेकम दिस जन्माष्ट में समन कैन टाइप एंड सेंड इट टू मी दैट विल बी गुड 
Bro, we can type, type uh, after that point, I have to add this point. Kalash Abhishekam. After point number 16. So this whole process, what do we have gone through? Typically, how much duration we should be considering this to be done? See, when we do it here, including the Pushpa Abhishek, including the bathing of the deities, proper bathing with Chandan and lemon and all that, it takes 45 minutes to one hour. But Janmashtami, it might take a long, a bit longer time, maybe one hour, 15 minutes max, it should be. Because another 45 minutes, people will come no, with their Kalashas. So, two hours total, we should have two, two and a half hours max for Abhishekam. Until now, 45 minutes is 45 minutes? No, actually it will not be 45 minutes for now because it will be a festival, no? So much of items will be offered, so many liters of items. Mm -hmm. So we don't know how much. So I'm saying one hour fifteen minutes like that. Yeah. Okay, let's go for Kalash Abhishekam and we'll come back. Okay, Kalash Abhishekam. See, now Kalash Abhishekam, unfortunately. Definitely we did a mistake you know, last time and before that also we have been doing. We allow common public to hold conch and offer it to the Lord Church. That's not allowed. Okay. So, they will just get Kalash and they will give it to the Pujari. They will not come on the stage. They cannot come on the stage. Hmm? They will give it to the Pujari. Then Pujari will pour it into the conch and another Pujari will offer. This is the procedure. So, they hmm. coming out of the stage at all. They cannot come on the stage. No, no. So, Harikshar and myself were discussing how can we give that good feeling. So, keep the Kalashas very far. <laughs> so, let them take from there and come you know, to that point. <laughs> they will also feel they have done something. So, when you are giving them Kalash, so there itself you can give Achman to them. You know, let them wash their hands and then hold the Kalash. So, with a lot of awe and reverence you should give and they will also hold with a lot of awe and reverence. Yes, And then from that you know, they will walk a good amount of distance and they will give it to the Pujari. Pujar will offer it on their behalf. So, video to bane gai. Hmm. That should be offered through uh, only conch. Conch, yes. only conch, not direct. So, last time we think the public came, they put uh, the Kalasha water into the Kamsha. They themselves are doing that. Uh, Pujar is holding and they are putting in the conch. <laughs> but uh, now you are saying, we should not even have directly putting. The they are not allowed uh, to step on the stage. So, constraints are like, uh, they should be in Vaishnava attire. Even for putting that Kalash water in conch, so one should be in Vaishnava attire <coughs> with Tilak and all that. Remember last time, whoever volunteers, right, we invited them, uh, they were doing right, free of just for Kalashas. That also I think we should avoid. We should avoid. Okay. Yes, Pujari standard has to be maintained. So the one who is wearing dhot, uh, sorry, kurt, dhoti and utri and who is uh, clean uh, in various ways, so that devotee can do the. So not even volunteers. It shouldn't take a long time. So, maybe three times we can ask them to chant Mahamantra. This is just a good feeling. So, when the Kalasha is given that far distance, ask them to keep chanting Mahamantra, come to the stage and give it. Now, they shouldn't stand and wait. And the Pujari is saying, Are they the Mantra? So, it should happen like that. Because we will have time constraint. Why to Pucha? So, we will not allow devotees also. They can also give color. Hey, yeah, Narsimha the Mandir mein hota hai We don't allow anyone and everyone to enter the altar, no? So they give colors to the pujari. One pujari will pass it on to another pujari. They'll pour it on the. See, that's what the training we are giving to this. They also should know that no, they are not allowed. Not only this is the outside also, but this is the <coughs> they are not supposed to allow. Is that clear? Any doubt? Color Shabishek? Huh? Okay, let's. One common question here. Now, there are seven teams, and if they are going to buy this Kalasha individually, uh, he's going to spend the duplicate effort. Oh, yeah, we don't take group, Hannah So, if one devotee is going, then we can have. Exactly. So, if that can be handled. Um, How many teams have Kalashas, 108 Kalashas already? Panathur team has. Panathur team has, na? Sanatan Pro? I don't know. ACS layout team has. Sponsor, he takes right, the Kalasha leaves. Oh, uh, we can give. Uh, uh, so oh, we'll not, no one will have then. That is what I'm saying. So, no one will have it. Oh. Correct, correct, correct. So, correct. Uh, that small Kalashas, we have to refer all the same to the buy. Yeah. 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 Ye
स्टील और कॉपर वॉटर ओके वी कैन आस्क आर गिरिदारी टू टू गेट ना इन बल्क एनीवन वांट्स टू वॉलंटियर टू गेट कलशा यू कैन पोस्ट इन द ग्रुप नो नो कलश नॉर्मल ओके and uh, for this kalasha right they are giving 500 rupees donation so whoever is giving water yeah, right giving so you we'll just uh, take that and give it back to the yeah return is my huh. carry as a gift steel kalasha is saying na copper also a copper steel whatever i will give it back yeah Correct. so you offer it you pour it in the conch and give that uh, conch back to them we take little as a little little charanamrut uh, and then you give it to them yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. see when they are coming with kalasha things that you have to do is you take pour it in the conch then fill with a little uh, charanamrut and then you give it to them if possible uh, if coconut is there coconut and flowers if you know there we can give flowers also ye sab nahi hai likh lo abhi all these are not written down write it down we refer from internet there so we did and the mango leaves better leaves no problem how you can put huh? any one ye the mango leaves or the other leaves and coconut on top of it with the turmeric dipped in turmeric turmeric apply turmeric on the coconut uh-huh. and then and in the in the correct just will plain water and some tulsi or anything of sort tulsi can be put plain water and yeah. actually they put a lot of things they put akshata that is uh, uh-huh. grains uh-huh. and they put little turmeric and that uh-huh. water should be there tulsi should be there that is minimum yeah, yellow anyways it will become because the coconut has yellow ah, right. one question prabhu this kalasha has to be collected only by the prabhu ji and given to the pujari or the mata ji can collect and give to the no that's okay anyone <laughs> that restriction for common public you cannot keep there's an office charge of prabhu pujari is not prabhu on the streets no no see the one pujari will be putting okay. one pujari will be collecting and giving the line should there should be a big line that will make a feel of the big line standing you know with the pots with the kalashas you know that will be nice done let's go to our document again okay now see after the kalash abhishekam is over ideally see this this shouldn't take much time like 45 minutes it should be done okay don't elongate for like 1 hour 2 hour and all that 45 minutes it should be done so you know let people come and they you know offer and even if your kalashas are remaining no problem ask some volunteer to get it and then just pour it mm. Mm. don't wait for people to come and you know pay and take it that is a typical in the volunteers to call if you are left with some questions huh. and then volunteers can be called and they can now after all this then what we have to do is we have to put uh, hold a curtain in front of the deities then the paste made up of lemon and chandan chandan powder the gopi chandan powder that you get squeeze some lemon drops in that make a paste out of it by putting some water also apply throughout the body of the lord just be aware of uh, the paint that is there on the face don't put it on the paint so apply in the throughout the body of the lord and nicely rub so this is like it will make it shiny and also all the stains and uh, stickiness that is there everything will be removed so nicely you no know, rub it and nicely wash so here in ibc recently we have started this we hold curtains are there after putting all that we hold sahasradhara hmm. the holes wala plate without fruits and then we pour water in that and then there's a shower like thing so we just uh, nicely give bath to the deities that is pretty fast hmm? that will not be visible to the audience that will not be visible to the audience this is behind the curtain behind the curtain so you need to Hey, yeah, please write down the curtains. Ah, huh? this curtain you have to arrange, which you have to hold. Here also, the seventeenth should be with the curtain. That's same thing. Ha, yeah, with curtains. So 
So when you are rubbing with the tendon paste, don't rub on the paint what is there. So it will remove the paints and all. So better not not to rub on the paint. And like face has a lot of paint. Lotus feet and hands also. Yeah, yeah. Wherever paint is, I just take care. Ah, Next. Don't rub. After that, after giving nice bath, ideally if we have uh, warm water, it is good. If not there, the normal water is also okay. Nicely uh, cleanse, uh, dry, the, dry them up with nice towels and drape those towels around them. Hmm. For Radharani, you should you know, nicely drape the towel. You know, whoever is going to worship uh, and bathe Srimati Radharani. So from the top, the top part also should be covered with the towel. Hmm. So that has to be done. For Gornitai, only bottom part is enough. Krishna, only bottom part is enough. Okay, and then say you are not very thorough that this is nicely tied, you put a pin. If you are not very confident, put a pin. Put a safety pin or a you know, the ball pin that is there. Hmm? So make sure that it will not come out when you are doing Pushpa Abhishek. Is that clear? And then you can have dhupa. So then you can offer dhupa. All this is happening behind the curtains. Hmm? Then you offer dhupa to the lordships. And then you put garland. If garland is available, nice jasmine garland you can put, tulsi garland if available we can put. And then you open the altar, blow the conch shell, open the altar. Whenever you open the altar, you need to blow the conch. Oh, we didn't mention dry fruit garland. Oh, start, huh? Ah. Yeah. We have to offer dry fruit garland. I don't know why. Actually, this way, this document was made for me and Koti Prabhu, so we have not mentioned many things. <laughs> so, when the lordships come, when you get the lordships on the table, at that time you have to offer dry fruits garland. Hmm? So, when you do swagatam so swagatam, before offering flowers, you offer garland also. Where is that? Uh, yes. What tape? For the flower of Vishayakam, we put a white cloth on the Extra tape like we can spread and tie it around. Okay, whatever. You see, whatever is. Uh, Putting pins sometimes if you heard the daily. No, that you should be, you should know yeah, how to put. Not prick the Lord. Yeah, yeah, how to. Yeah. See, whatever is needed, do. Just cover the deities. <laughs> make sure it's not fault. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So that has been proper size in terms of uh, neutrality. Huh. See, when you drape, then you fold it in such a way that you know it is proper size. So you can use a white handkerchief, that is like ideal. Mm -hmm. That will be like you can drape it the way you want. Instead of having that you know, turkey towels of thick, uh -huh. have white uh, you know, handkerchiefs, that will look good also. Okay, so we have, uh, and after drying them up, you blow the conch shell and then you open the altar and then you start Pushpa Abhishek. So for this Pushpa Abhishek, you have some uh, five, six types of uh, flower petals and then you keep showering the flowers. Hmm? And after Pushpa Abhishek is done, then you offer Karpur Aarti. Sir, now, <coughs> deities will be placed again back on the same table where... They are there only, they have not been removed any time. Yeah, Swampatra will be removed now. No, no, Swampatra is there. Everything is set. I, I didn't tell anywhere remove anything. Everything is there only. Only containers we were changing. Right. Hmm? So, lordships are there on the table only, they have not been moved. Huh? So, Pushpa Abhishek, now you just make sure every time any ingredient that you offer, you put Asman drops on that, Ganga Jal or whatever you want to put, and then you offer it to the Lord. So, Pushpa Abhishek, you can just throw the flowers up in such a way that they fall you know, on the Lord. <laughs> Where you do it very gracefully, very nicely. It will be good if we can. Huh? Right. So, point also we can... Yeah, we can blow conch shell provided we have a person who can do it. Yes. Bell, bell is something that is continuously. good. Bell and conch shell can be blown. If huh. someone is available who can blow continuously, then if not, then continuously bell. Should so be. many people will not be there anyways, I am sure. Yes, just yes, sir. Yeah. In fact, there should be some person to do chamar also. Okay. Also. There public can also do... No public. No, no, no. Only no pujari No one will enter on the stage. Yeah. 
नहीं वो इसके नीचे ना एक फ्लावर रख दीजिए तो थोड़ा ऐसे ऊपर हो जाएगा तो अपने आप पानी नीचे चला जाता है अभी देखिए वो सहस्त्र जो करने वाले हैं ना हम लोग और जो ये कलश के पानी डालने वाले हैं तो ऑल दैट विल क्लियर इफ यू फील दैट स्टिल समथिंग इज देयर एनी वेज लेटर वे वू डू नो चंदन वो सब लगा के पानी डालने वाले सब निकल जाएगा उसको क्लीन कीजिए अपने हिसाब से जे टी को पकड़ के थोड़ा टेल्ट कीजिए उसको ये सब होता है कर्टन के पीछे नॉर्मल ऑडियंस नॉट गोइंग टू डू एनी थिंग दिस ओनली पुजारीस ओनली पुजारीस बोथ द पुष्पा अभिषेक एम ओनली पुजारीस सो दिस इज पुष्पा अभिषेक जस्ट आफ्टर अभिषेक एंड पुष्पा अभिषेक जस्ट बिफोर द महा आरती इन द नाइट फॉर द मेन डेटिस दैट विल बी फॉर द बिग डेटिस वो पंचामृता से नहीं नहीं पंचामृता से एज सुन एज वी स्टार्ट ऑफरिंग द मिल्क पंचा दिस विल स्टार्ट वो जब तक खत्म होगा अब तो हरे कृष्ण ना कीर्तन विल स्टार्ट उतरी रहेगा तो अच्छा है सी दिस पब्लिक वी कैनॉट जस्ट डू वॉट एवर आइडियली एवरी टाइम यू नो इन द ऑल्टर वी जस्ट हैव पीपल विद उतरी ओनली उतरी ओनली या आई बी सी में थोड़ा बहुत जुगाड़ होता है वेर डिवोटीज एक्सटैटिकली दे कम प्रो जी चावर दीजिए बिकॉज ना वॉट वी पुजारीज विल डू देर वी आर लेकर ठीक है लोग करो जो करना है यू टेल दम टू वेर उतरी एंड कम यू कैन आस सम पीपल टू बी रेडी इफ दे वॉन्ट डू दैट से हाँ आइडियली आइडियली सेकेंड इनिशिएटेड एनी थिंग रिलेटेड टू डेटी सेकेंड इनिशिए सी सी दिस सेवा प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड इट इज लाइक यूर एंटरिंग द ऑल्टर ऑफ इस्कॉन टेम्पल राइट इफ यू गो टू ए ऑल्टर ऑफ इस्कॉन टेम्पल इट्स रिटर्न दैट नो परमिशन नो एंट्री विदाउट परमिशन सो वॉट इज दट परमिशन परमिशन इज सेकेंड इनिशिएशन देन यू शुड बी डूइंग आचमन ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर नेम्स ऑफ कृष्णा you should be in the uttri and kurta sorry uttri and dhoti and then only you can enter with short hair then you can do, all this they will happen in the altar no like that so treat like that it is so when we are talking with sitalanga pro who was saying the same iskon is not like you no know, encourage people their culture or their kind of faith and all but iskon is way to educate people how to do it so you have to educate them If you do on, you are not going to educate in the public programs also. Then when how they will learn? And there is no feel good factor for public here. Yeah. What they will feel if we don't give them flowers to throw and all that? There is no feel good factor. It's like our seva that we are doing to the Lord, which has to be done nicely. Now by which we will award the seva aparats. Feel good factor should be given to the Lord, not to the public. <laughs> so after pushpa abhishek, then you offer karpur arti. वन आरती दिस यू कैन टेक पुट करपूर रिलेटेड एंड देन यू ऑफर करपूर आरती अगेन होल्ड द स्क्रीन होल्ड द स्क्रीन एंड देन यू टेक द डेटिस टू द वेर एवर विच एवर प्लेस यू वॉन्ट टू ड्रेस देम एंड देन कीप दैट कर्टन ऑन टिल यू क्लीन द एंटायर प्लेस एंड देन यू कैन रिमूव द कर्टन दैट्स वॉट आई एम टेलिंग दिस इज नाउ And 11:30 at night we'll do for me. Many people came. People yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not allowed. So that is also not allowed. Not dice only those who are yeah, pujaris. Because you said, uh, you know, people will do things so much till midnight. And yeah. then. So no. no. We can give. We can collect. We can collect their flowers and we can do it. We can if we give to them they'll throw, but we'll not give. <laughs> Here, this point that See here, Radhastami, we had hundred kg flowers that we had offered, mm-hmm. but no person was given flowers, right? Only we were there as pujaris who were offering, so like that. Until this point, point eleven, all the deities, deities are covered in the white cloth. Mm-hmm. So after this only, no, no, no. Before that, it will be white cloth. Correct. Initially, you have already draped with white cloth. Abhishekam has happened. Their clothes have become wet. Uh-huh. then you do uh, everything till here 
then you're going to put chandan and other things and nicely so while putting chandan and other things you can remove the clothes which are there of the deities and nicely because anyways it is covered no only two pujaris are there inside two or three pujaris nicely put the soap like thing that we have chandan paste and lemon nicely bathe them then you get the dry cloth dry yeah, white yeah. Ah, and then you wipe them drape the same cloth nicely and then all this happen so after pushpa shem then the proper dress then you take them no. they are not there on the stage now yes. you take them yeah. to the room and then you dress them so this is what happens and then you get them back on the main altar then the bhoga offering happens so now we go back to the ppt so you remember we had the bhoga offering this one so the last bhoga offering the 10 o'clock approximately 10 o'clock uh, during that time the bhoga offering that will happen will be after that these utsav vigras are dressed hmm? this is the final bhoga offering if you want to offer something at 12 o'clock cake or something that's up to you any questions this was the major chunk of our uh, training abhishekam Things are already decided. Only you, uh, you people have to be put. I'll put. Done, everyone. From where I come, we were trying to be very careful with instructions. Most often trying to make sure that it is clear. But let's say somewhere it got missed. So is there any specific? Uh, I mean, any specific? It will get missed because of our anxiety and nervousness. Anything we should do okay. to say? I mean, to ask forgiveness from the deity. So pujaris, whenever they do any seva, the end of the seva, they always beg forgiveness. There are forgiveness mantras which are there, so that mantras can be chanted. Or if you don't know mantras, you beg forgiveness, saying knowingly and knowingly I might have committed many offenses. Oh merciful Lord, please forgive me. Yeah. So in this, uh, also it is written. Beg forgiveness. That is the last. Uh, yeah. See, when your seva changes, say you are doing arti. And now your seva is going to change. You want to do something else. Another pujari is coming. So before you leave, you offer the forgiveness prayer every time. Be it arti, be it bhoga offering, be it anything. Hmm? So this is done. Abhishekam is done. Kalash Abhishekam. The final pushpa Abhishek that is going to happen. So final final pushpa Abhishek is like uh, at eleven thirty. You have lot of flowers that you are going to offer. Now just. Uh, just offer it to the lord in a very nice so all the pujari team entire pujari team should be there no other person should be allowed possible we can have nice baskets hmm? or polythenes are thrown here and there every time so we can have nice baskets big baskets in which you put we are spending so much let's spend for baskets also little yes and then you nicely fill with flowers keep it ready and at 11:30 the nice kirtan should start and then you no know, fl- shower flowers with lot of love and devotion wishing the lord happy birthday <laughs> and after the pushpa abhishekam i think this will take 15 minutes or so then you get ready for the final aarti the pujari should get ready for the final aarti and the final aarti they can do whenever you get time always you know wind up things you know a lot of things will be spread here and there so the stage should look very clean and all the paraphernalia should be there in the room or behind the stage wherever your place is only so those paraphernalia needed should be on the stage no polythenes here and there no unwanted stuff no unwanted vessels here and there and this pushpa abhishek will happen at the how many altars are there so every oh, it happens every altar we shower flower and before uh, you do pushpa abhishek do archman I mean, put archman water on the uh, flowers so this 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 has to be understood any item that is offered to the lord first it has to be sprinkled with the archman water or ganga jal this is like understood there is no question of uh, reminding so before arati that flowers has to be cleaned up and everything no no like let it be the way it is just make sure the flowers are not there on the face oh. just remove that much and if you want to see the lotus feet you can remove little at the lotus feet also and then you can start the arati and the dressing has to be very proper radharani's body should be nicely covered there are some temples in the west where it is seen the stomach is seen the long neck uh, dresses and all now we should be very careful the dress has to be very proper now if you see all the temples uh, big temples in uh, uh, india now you see how the dresses are there fully covered you know till the neck the hands are covered and all that so dresses should be very proper hmm? anything you all want to ask till next i have to go to the next topic so probably here uh, pushpa shape is 
Cake cutting will not do. Just keep the cake. After Pushpa Abhishek, just keep the cake in front of the Lord and then you do that. Ideally, yes. Before Abhishekam, Pujari should take bath and change the dhoti uttari. Because it will be a lot of sweat from morning. Two, three times we can take bath in the entire day. Ideally, we take bath three times. If possible, at least two times we should. It will be needed. Yeah. Ah, fasting is also needed. <laughs> <laughs> we had made nice plans actually. No, why? No, nine. Ah, okay, you are going to. No, no. Nicely eat and go. But the clothes, uh, this, this cleanliness has to be maintained. So, say you are going to pass water, you cannot be in those clothes too, you know, while passing water. Yes. You have to go, uh, then you have to be in gamcha, pass water again, come back, change the clothes. And while taking prasad also? While taking prasad also. You cannot take prasad in the same clothes on which you are going to do the seva. Get contaminated. Maza <laughs> It's okay. It's, it's not that you take and then Om Kesh <laughs> <laughs> so, It is said like mustard seed size, you have to put water and sip. And you have to just wet your lips, that's all, not that you drink. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next, uh, last few. Pallaki Seva. So now see, 7 o'clock, the, where is the schedule? See here, Pallaki Utsav is going to happen at 7. Okay, after the full Aarti in the evening, Pallaki Utsav will happen. You have anything related to the Abhishek? Yeah, so ah. Mahaarti is spoken. That is when we do that Kumbha Aarti. Yeah, yeah, correct. Last Aarti has Kumbha Aarti. Kumbha Aarti. Singing we can do Mahamantra only. Yeah, Aarti we can. So now this, uh, we are talking about Pallaki Utsav. Okay. We have finished Abhishekam and everything. Maharati is also over. We are again coming back to 7 o'clock. So 7 o'clock we are doing Pallaki Utsav. So in this, the Palki has to be decorated very nicely. We can have small Palkis which can be taken on the head. Or if you want to have big Palkis on four shoulders, it depends on the team. So it's up to you all. Nicely decorate them. Deities have to be nicely fitted in that so that the deities don't move and fall. Okay. And... Try not to dance with the deities. Uh, we don't know how sturdy the Palki is and how nicely their deities are fit in that. So you carry the deities. So how the deities should be carried? When the deities are lifted, the conscience should be blown. Whenever de any anything related to deities is going to happen, where they want to move from one place to another, conscience should be blown. So one date one devotee will lift the deities, and there will be two devotees will be offering chamar, kirtan will be going on, and they'll go out for a procession. Now, wherever your procession ends, and again you have to come back, there you can do an, a small aarti. You can offer incense, camphor, flowers, chamar, peacock feather, and then you, know, you get them back. Hmm? And then you come back, and then your Abhishekam is going to start so immediately. Do party, you are uh, can offer camphor also there. Camphor also. In do party, you don't have camphor, uh -huh. but you can offer camphor also. Hmm? So, as soon as you come back, you, know, you have to get the deities ready because 7 o'clock you go out. It will take easily half an hour and then you come back and immediately get the deities ready and then they are back, they are there on the altar for the Abhishekam. Camphor is like one of the uh, arti paraphernalia that is offered in every place. That's auspicious. So anything auspicious is offered in the form of fire. So camphor is there one of them. You see the smell and other things, you know, it's very nice. So, camp will be offered after the chamar and the peacock? No, no. Huh? After incense. Okay. It's the camphor is like fire you're offering, no? Uh -huh. So, when do you offer fire? After incense. You can offer ghee lamp also, it's up to you. Okay. Whatever is ready. Huh. So, this is for offering. Whatever for offering is used, that. If you ask, they'll tell. One is called Pacha Karpura, which is for eating. And there's something... Edible, edible camphor, generally uh, it is very costly. Uh, correct. It will not burn. 
So it will not burn. Not that like how normal camphor burn. But it is very costly than the normal. Normal camphor only very costly actually. Oh, in the morning, so when people will be coming, you are supposed to give them tirtha. People accept, expect tirtha there. So what you can do is, uh, so morning anyways we are not doing Abhishekam and all. So you can have water you know, mixed with uh, this pacha karpura and uh, tulsi leaves in that and you offer it to the Lord. Offer Tulsi or you can offer it to the Lord you know, as a drink. Small yeah. 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 And, yeah. and then you can uh, mix, it, mix it and then you can. Or in the entire container also you can keep. Yeah, yeah. Or what Prabhu said that is also valid. You, know, you have the water and you mix uh, the offered, flour, offered Tulsi in that. You will be doing Arjuna like many times. But Arjuna flowers and Tulsi mm. can be offered into the yeah. give them. And because you will not offer again and again, no? You put water in that, the offered water and offered tulasi and then keep giving. And that we can make a big container and keep it and the, the flow will be there. Oh. People, crowd flow will be there and we can refill and give it. So that uh, patra has to be brought. We have to buy that. Oh, no, make a note of this patra. I got it. You had a? Panchamra. Shatari. Shatari has to be given. Shatari with plate. Every team has a Shatari? No. Uh, to keep shatari it on. So this also has to be bought, Shatari. It's a gopra with lotus feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what uh, I wanted you all to. You can, can you watch again, make a list? Uh, that will be good. Okay, so Kalash Abhishek, push, final push and the last is public archana. This is again another very important thing after Abhishekam. This is the second important point. Hmm. Public archana. So, Utsav Murtis throughout the day will be placed closer you know, to the public. Hmm. Closer to the public on a nice uh, uh, raised platform, nice altar-like structure. Decorated. So, nicely decorated. The deities will be kept in front. So, one pujari will be sitting. So, you can have slots in which the pujaris will be sitting. So, we have a document which we will share. So, so we have two sets of deities. One set of deities, Utsav Vigraha will be on the central altar. No, no, no. Uh, Same Utsav Vigraha you have to get forward. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Hmm. So many, where you will get to? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is uh, Sankalpa mantras which are there. You can keep the sheet and you can read it. Yes. Whatever you have here. So, you read the Sankalpa Mantras. So, basically this is talking about like for example, this Jambu Dvipe, Bharat Varshe, Bharat Khande. So, you are talking about, basically talking about the location where you are. Where the person is. Where Archana is happening. Ah. So, where this uh, Archana is going to happen. Shubha Nakshatre, uh, what is? Sani Vasare, Shubha Yogi. What, what has to be changed? Here? Ah, see, this Vyashar Mandape has to be changed. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so, ACS layout ground. So, you are talking the about location that. location where you are doing, that's, that address has to be. Address uh, and followed by Mandapai. Mandapai. Yes. And that uh, year also will change. So, that we have to get. So, Ekha year is me. That Vikari Nam Samasura. Vikari Nam Samasura. Vikari Nam Samasura. Vikari Nam Samasura. So what will come here? Okay. Okay. We will we'll change and give. Okay. Yeah. So this has to be chanted. Yes. Uh, this is optional. Ha, see, when you are, when people are coming, you are supposed to ask this. Yajamanasya, hmm? Asya Yajamanasya. So you are asking the name. Gotrasya. When they tell name, and then you tell Gotrasya. They'll tell the Gotra. And then you start the Archana. So what is the Archana that is there? You chant the 12 names of Lord Krishna. If you know 24 names, you can chant 24 names. 12 names are the Tilak names, what's the ah. code. And 24 names are the Archman names which you do. Okay. Shema, Stirya, Virya, Vijaya, Ayu, Arogya, Aishwarya. Sorry. All this is there. But mentally you should pray that, Oh Lord, make him a nice devotee. Yeah. Sri Krishna Bhakti, yes. Huh? Yeah, this this will not chant. Yes. So we can chant this. Sri Krishna Anugraha Siddhartham. 
प्राप्त्यार्थम भक्ति प्राप्त्यार्थम then for a group of the people we <coughs> see we collect we collect the mutram themselves and just we continue the rest of the mantras when we collect the archana, archana plate we ask that yajmanasya what is the name gotra and all we chant and we keep that's all we don't do the uh, chant the 24 names or 12 names so you collect like that some some 10 or 12 uh, archana plates then you do cal- but they will leave na no? no, they will leave they will come leave no, but no, 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 they will leave back as we in front of they want to see what or maybe we can give from previous uh, no. offering that is better that's what we will say so we will ask them to chant hadagesh mantra and we will be doing that's what we will do what you did so people will come right morning one or two people will come for them you have to do Huh. Okay, but in the sometimes right? in the evening a lot of queue is there. Sometimes, ah. but these should have a separate queue for the archana mm-hmm. and normal queue behind it. Or else they will be blocking all the way. So people mm-hmm. know about. So you remember we are taking right. So they know pujari has accepted and they will be doing. So rest of them they will be just holding and waiting only. Okay. Okay. So ten people will be there. So whoever can be accommodated just in by altar, right? They will be there. Yes. And they will be taking and uh, doing archana full for ten people. Okay, but uh, Gotra, everything will be taken one by one like that, and they will make them uh, uh, touch. Touch, yeah. Touch. I believe that's not possible. I was sitting there for the last three months. The queue comes like this. Mm-hmm. Individual person walking in one by one. Correct. So in my case, they can have done for everybody separate and get out. They do it very fast, basically because they are not an optional one, right? They take action. Initially, it will be little difficult, but once you are keep chanting, doing, then it will be happy. Yes. 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 Yes.
take some flowers and some prasad from the Lord and give it back to the devotees. Yes, uh, we'll have Hare Krishna mantra card. I don't think we'll be giving it here. For them, huh? Huh, okay, see, when they're getting grains, sometimes they want to offer grains to the Lord. So we don't offer that. You just keep it aside and then we'll give it to the kitchen uh, to offer. Yes. You can offer dry grains, no? We don't have that. Uncooked, how will we offer? That's all. You just keep it. You don't offer it to the Lord. You just keep it somewhere. Okay, so from my side, I am done. Any questions? So as, as promised, you know, I have finished in two hours. Eh? All this will take entire day. Okay, so from my side, I will send the PPT. Send the PPT and the Abhishekam manual. Then whatever guidelines are there. Oh?